Welcome back to another episode of SMB3 Warpless Seminar. Today we will be covering World 1 Level 6, and for anyone out there who has been following along trying to master some of these levels, today you will finally catch a break. This is probably one of the most easy and basic levels in the run, so as usual, Let's jump right in. Like most levels in this run, there is almost always a few little knickknacks and tricks that make every level unique in the category. A lot of levels have two or three, and even some really difficult parts, but not World 1 Level 6. Nope. This one's easy peasy. So we're going to start like most levels holding forward and B, and you're going to want to jump to the first square platform. See? I told you it was pretty easy. Next, you will use the center beam of that platform as a visual cue. The cue will be once you pass the center beam, execute a full big jump to land on the first red Koopa. Once you land on the Koopa, continue holding forward, B, and A, and do another full big jump until you land on the next platform with the single bush. Use running past the bush as your visual cue to know when to do your next full big jump on the music notes. From there, you will only hold forward and the bounce from the music note will land you on the green platform. I don't really know what the green platform is, I mean, is it a bush? I mean, look at it, what is it? Anyways, from the weird green bush, do a small or medium jump, it's your choice, to the next four breakable blocks. And from there, do another small or medium jump, depending on how you position yourself, to the next weird, messed up green bush. This will be the only tricky part of the level, but luckily, we have it covered. There are two ways to build your P-Speed at this part, but I'll be talking about my most consistent way, which is from the green platform. So, the reason I position myself on the green platform is so I can jump up and land on the wooden runway as soon as possible. I want Mario's feet to touch the runway as early and as quick as I can. The reason for this is so Mario can have as much room to build his P-Speed. When jumping up off the green platform, Try not to jump any higher than the little white half ring, which kind of looks like it's holding up the wooden platform. This allows Mario to start building his P-Speed right away. You will know if you've done it right if the fourth arrow on the P-Meter flashes when you jump up onto the second wooden platform. The jump up to the second wooden platform will be just like the first one. You will want to jump up as close as you can to the platform so you can use as much space to continue building P-Speed. The biggest reason we cut it so close while trying to build P-Speed is the little gap on the second wooden platform, which is the intended path. You drop down, you ride the platform. Running over that gap can sometimes mess with the building process of the P-Speed, but as long as you use as much room on the platforms and don't jump so high getting on both of them, then the gap won't be a problem. From here we have a nice visual cue of the blue line and the second white ring to execute a medium jump that will require much faith since you can't see the Koopa. While doing this blind jump, you will still want to hold forward and B. Remember, forward and B is the formula of speedrunning SMB3. From that Koopa, you will bounce off him with a small to medium jump, landing on the three wooden blocks. And from there, try and use the visual cue of the last line dividing the last two blocks to do your next medium jump. The previous jump will land you on the up-down platform, and from there you can do whatever kind of jump you want over the last red Koopa until you hit the end card. Like any other level, this will take a bit of getting used to with the muscle memory, but I bet after a couple hours you'll have it down. Here's what it looks like when it's all done. Thanks for watching episode 5, I hope you learned a lot. If you liked what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up and tap that subscribe button to know when episode 6 comes out. I will be covering World 1 Airship, The Boss, and The Overworld. This will be the last episode covering World 1. Also, if you would like to see some live action world record attempts, make sure to check out my live stream over on Twitch.tv. Link will be in the description below. Thanks all. See ya!